Well, straight up to our top focus story, they're coming in from down south where the city of Chennai has only 12 days of water left. The city is facing acute water crisis and residents are the ones who are suffering. In fact, all the water in four reservoirs have dried up and with no water supply, the residents are forced to depend on packaged drinking water. Joining me live from Chennai is Shweta for more details. Shweta, acute water crisis there staring at Chennai. What is the current situation there? Yes, as we could see, Chennai has water that would last only for about two weeks. Residents are in fact worried about this fact and the Metro Water officials have indeed admitted that there is a shortage in the groundwater levels. However, uh, here uh, residents uh, from the tail end areas including uh, Perambur, Red Hills and also uh, from the central locations including uh, West Mambalam, Saidapet are all suffering due to this acute water crisis. However, uh, they also said that the officials have not done anything about this. Both the governments have failed and uh, both the AIA, DMK and DMK parties have not done anything much as what they feel. And uh, not, no one has in fact figured out on how to solve this problem. Uh, so people here are in fact worried and uh, they would not be having water uh, after two weeks uh, because the water in the reservoirs have completely dried up. And now people are facing a very, very difficult situation with both the monsoons getting failed. And also now there's no rainfall and June is only getting severely hot. Absolutely, as you're pointing out that the temperature in the city is just on the higher side. Any word they're coming in from the authorities because we understand that four reservoirs have already dried up. Do they have any kind of action plan in this case? Uh, yes, uh, they are indeed saying that they would be tackling the situation by drawing water through uh, these stone quarries and in fact uh, that would be operational uh, from uh, three or four days. But however, people uh, feel that this would not be uh, you know, sufficient enough as you say that uh, the planning is not being done and uh, they are not materializing uh, the efforts uh, that have been taken. Also, uh, you know, completely right. depending upon the quarries and completely depending upon uh, water uh, through uh, bore wells and uh, other uh, sources would not be sufficient is what people hear feel and uh, they are in fact uh, very worried about the long-term uh, problems that they would be facing in the city. Right, Shweta, also tell us what are the main areas in Chennai, what are the primary areas which are really facing this acute water shortage there? Yes, areas like Saidapet, West Mambalam, Velacheri, Gindi, uh, Red Hills, Perambur uh, and uh, various other areas uh, are uh, facing this uh, main problem. And as we could see that uh, water shortage is there everywhere and uh, people uh, right from uh, all the classes are uh, facing this situation because uh, there's no uh, water left in uh, here in the city. Also, the groundwater levels have come down uh, drastically and also uh, the water cans have gone in for a strike recently because of which there's a demand for water and people could right. sense that uh, it has become very difficult and challenging to in fact get water on a daily basis and they are have to pay water to get through private water tankers and private water cans and it is indeed difficult for everyone here. Right Shweta stay with us let's also listen into a couple of voices there coming in from Chennai uh, who are reacting to this entire water crisis that is there in the city so far. Now we are left with no water, even ground water also level has gone down because a lot of buildings are coming up, whatever little water ground level is there that is also extracted and it is used for building purposes etc etc. With the result we are left with least water, number one. Number two, whatever is we are able to take, this is also saltish. Number two, third, it is also iron content is there, so we can't use it for any other purpose. This is all the problem we see. Water is not coming properly. Uh, that too, we, I am not getting water. Uh, neighbors are getting, but I am not getting. Uh, I don't know why it is. Uh, I have repaired everything, but it is not coming. Uh, alternate is that also. It comes, uh, which time it comes, I don't know. We are not getting water for the past three months. Hmm. The grading of the pipe is on the higher side near my house. So water is not reaching our uh, house. So we are using the rainwater harvested borewell water. Okay. So it is sufficient for us, so we are not making any complaint. But government should take action that everybody gets equal distribution of water. From the borewell, due to uh, rainwater harvesting, we get a good quality water. So we are managing. Sometimes 
I have bought two lorry loads in the three months. Well, water left for only 12 days there while the residents in the area up in arms saying that they haven't received water for three months. Going back to Shweta who is giving us updates on this entire development that we are tracking. Shweta, the areas that you pointed out in Chennai which are facing acute water crisis. We understand how often do you think the residents there can even afford packaged drinking water in the absence of clean water in that area? Yes, uh, they have been uh, receiving water uh, on not a daily basis, but it is taking at least three to four days of time for them to get water through the Metro Water officials. Uh, they said that uh, it has indeed become very difficult these days because uh, with summer season on and uh, the entire May month was a, in, a difficult for everyone, uh, not only from uh, uh, trail and areas, but also from the pro most prominent parts of uh, the Chennai city. Uh, we could see that uh, they are, uh, have not been getting water uh, on a daily basis. And uh, also they are saying that the quality of water is not uh, really good and that is why uh, in fact they are uh, asking for the private water tankers to in fact uh, supply water to them. Uh, also th there has been problem everywhere and there have been protests happening uh, uh, with the water cans and uh, this has become in fact very difficult for them to get water and there has been no rains due to which uh, they are not getting water uh, even uh, through uh, any other system and uh, they are, there is a rainwater system, a system that has uh, been taken place uh, but uh, all this are not uh, helping them in the long run and they feel that uh, authorities Authorities should take uh, uh, the necessary uh, steps for uh, providing water, but uh, in fact they have failed and uh, they are just uh, left in a tight spot here. Right, uh, Shweta, also tell us, we have seen yet another summer, the same story in a different city. What will it now take for the authorities to wake up and understand this is the same story that is happening in every city and Chennai is yet again, again another summer staring at the same problem? Yes, although this problem is in fact persistent in every other city, but however in Chennai it has become very difficult and we could see that Chennai is the only place where we could see acute water crisis and people are suffering every day to get their share of water through tankers or through the metro water officials. It's becoming very difficult for them to get water and though authorities have admitted that you know there is a problem, but still they are saying that they would be managing, but we don't know how they are going to do it. There's no set of plan and there's no set of uh, action that has that we could see. Uh, though they are saying that they would be uh, getting water through these stone quarries, we don't know how long this is going to sustain. And uh, people here want uh, them to take uh, serious measures and see to that they get water on a daily basis. But this has become very difficult and also it has become cost effective because they are unable to get water uh, for free of cost and uh, it's, it's becoming very difficult especially for the middle class. Absolutely severe water crisis staring uh, Chennai. In fact, 12 days and they haven't received, uh, it seems for almost three months, there's been acute water crisis there in Chennai. But authorities have really not woken up to this fact that the Chennai residents will be facing more water problems in the coming days. Thank you so much, Shweta, for getting us all those details that we will be, uh, developments that we will be tracking through the day.